Okay, this is Jay Hawk Scott again, and today I am going to talk to you about my uh, Radeon light fixture that, I, that I'm making um, and how it's a little different than most people's that I've seen out there. I, I've seen a lot of people that go out there and get this little 90 degree angle iron. I don't know if you can really see that, but um, it's just an L shaped 90 degree piece of, uh, I believe it's aluminum. Um, angle iron and that was my plan I was I was gonna do that uh, and just mount the the radion up underneath it or or put it like that I thought about just setting it inside of it but I really didn't like the idea of sliding it back and forth and scratching up my fixture uh, so I was looking around and and, and then I got another idea, and I, I saw this on Mr. Saltwater Tank, and he used some stuff called Bosch uh, Rexroth, I think is what it is. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and so I did some research into that, and and I found some. And the, the catch with the Rexroth, and that's what this is, is you have to mail order it it's it's not available at least it wasn't available for me locally so I got two six foot pieces they I measured and, and they cut it to size and they shipped it out and it was about 50 bucks for the two pieces and a little pricey but you know these little 90s weren't real cheap either so but what's different about this is you can see it's just a square tube but on the bottom you got a track let me see if I can there you go. Now you can see it. The one that I saw on Mr. Saltwater Tank, it was like this side all the way around. I bought a different kind. I bought one that was closed on all sides except the bottom. Now, so what can you do with that? Well, you take your screw that screws into the top of the radion just fine and it just slides in there. And it can't come out, but it'll allow your radion fixture to slide and you can move it and you can make adjustments with it and so to me that was really cool so if I take this bar and I put put it on my radion I've got another one over here <clears throat> okay so now you can see the radion fixture is hanging underneath and I, I used a little bit longer screw so that I can get to all of the buttons on the radians because the radion buttons are basically in line with those uh, those screw mounts but as you can see I can just slide the fixture back and forth real easy which is really nice because if if I would use the angle iron and mounted the radions up underneath you know I could measure them and make sure they're spread out properly but if I need to move it just a little bit one way or another due to my my aquascaping or corals or what have you this gives me the ability to do that so I think this is is super super slick um, I did use some of the angle iron here and I drilled some holes and I'm going to put these on the end and make these end caps at the end of my my Rex rock and so um, it will become one solid structure and then the radions will just slide up and down and and that's it so let me go ahead and put this assemble this whole thing and and then I'll come back and and uh, uh, show you what I got okay so I'm back and I've attached my end cap on here and all it was is a screw and a, and a, a nut that fit inside the track and it works just fine it's gonna hold this really firmly in place and as you can see now I've got all three of my radions on here and now this thing's upside down right now obviously because the lights are up but as you can see it makes a little noise but they slide really nicely just up and down and I've got another end cap down on the other end and uh, this thing is just going to sit inside of my canopy. I'm not, I could hang it if I wanted to. I could easily mount, so I'm 
wires on the ends of these things if I wanted to and make this a hanging uh, fixture or the way I'm going to do it I'm just going to like I say lay it inside of my my canopy it's got some um, some spots in there with it that will hold uh, that will hold the fixture just in place so I won't have to mount this thing so I'll be able to slide it back and forth and and uh, and move the, fi the fixtures around so I am really excited about this I think this is awesome I am I was a little concerned about having to mount these things and not being able to move them because if it's not what I want when I get up there on the tank then I'm kind of screwed I have to tear the whole thing down drill more holes move it and there's just not a whole lot of flexibility uh, to to where my lights point so I, I think this will work out really really well and I'm super excited so uh, next thing is to put these things on the tank and see how they look so uh, I think this is it for for my 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 new light rail kit um, my custom kit I guess there's not a kit so uh, if you got any questions for me uh, just shoot me a message and I'll be happy to answer them and uh, if you've got uh, I guess that's about it if you got if you got beer drink it <laughs> uh, but so anyways thanks again to all my subscribers I really appreciate you guys for hanging in me with me uh, I've got a five week old at home so as you can imagine it's it's hard to find time to work on my fish tank uh, I think I'm getting I do have water in it it is cycling I'll put the lights on it now and I think I'm pretty close to to actually putting something in the tank other than just water and rocks uh, I do have a bunch of videos that I'm getting ready to do and hopefully uh, I'll be able to do those here pretty soon so uh, the, this is Jayhawk Scott signing out